Hello guys, let's solve the problem of the day. Uh, well, today we have reverse a doubly linked list. So let's read the problem. The problem simply says, given a doubly linked list of n elements, your task is to reverse the doubly linked list in place. What does in place mean? That means we do not have to use any extra space. We just need to move the links here and there so that the linked list is reversed. Okay, now the task is, uh, we have to complete this function. Head is taken as a reference to the doubly linked list. New head, okay. So this function should reverse the elements uh, such that the tail becomes a new head and all the pointers are pointing to in the right order, done. You need to return the new head of the reverse list. Okay, you need to notice this. We have to return the new head and all the things will be done with driver code, fine. Now let's try to understand the code with some examples. So taking these sample test cases, let's see the first one. Fine, so what is the basic structure of a doubly linked list? If we have to say, we can say we have these three nodes, right? And each node has two connections. In usual manner, what would be the case? That means in singly linked list, this would have been the condition. But when we're talking about doubly linked list, that means we need to keep track of the previous. So four's previous is three, five's previous is four. And what is three's previous? Well, just like five's next is null, three's previous is going to be null as well. Oh, okay, this is a structure of a doubly linked list. Now, if we reverse this, what will be the answer? Again, the three nodes will be there. Five will come here, four will be here, and three will be here. This time, notice, this is going to be null because three has become the tail, the last element. And five is the new head. Five's previous will be becoming null. And all the other links will be changed accordingly. That means now three is pointing towards four in the previous. And similarly, four's next has become three. Fine. So we understand the task that what we have to do. Let's try to understand what actually is happening when we are reversing the list. Uh, let's take this example and let me say 5, 3, uh, 2. These are the values. Well, whenever a node is uh, set inside a memory, whenever we are initializing a node, obviously it is also going to be having some address to it. So let's give some random addresses, right? And now let's try to position the pointers. First one, 5's previous, it is going to be null. 5's next, it is going to be 200, right? 3's previous is 5. That means we have to store 5's address, 100. 3's next is 300, correct? Similarly, 2's previous is this 200, right? And also, whenever we mark the pointers, that means the connection is made. When we are marking it, um, when we are marking 100 here, that means this connection is made. Similarly, when we when we wrote 300 here, this connection was done and this connection was done here. Okay, two's next is going to be null, right? Okay, this is normal condition. Now let's see what happens when we actually reverse the list. This will be two, this will be three, and this will be five after reversing. And now let's again make links. This is going to be null. This is going to be null. Corresponding to two, we have 300. Corresponding to five, we have 100. And corresponding to three, we have 200. Let's make the pointers. It is going to be having 200. It'll be having 300, 100, 200. Yep, done. Now we know how the connections are working. What are the changes here? We need to take a look, right? Take a look to it. So if we notice, let's say this node, we're noticing this node. What changes are here? What changes are here? We were having three towards its right. That means towards its, or we can say next, it was having two. And towards its previous, it was having five. After reversing, three on the next side, or the next side is having five, and on the previous side is having two. Correct? We need to think of what is happening to one single node. And once we have figured out that what is happening, only the positions are swapping. 
whatsoever was at the previous is now coming to the next and whatsoever was on the next is now coming to previous. That means we are simply just swapping. Fine. And this is what we're doing with every node. Let's pick this one up. So five was having null on one side and address of three on one side. Once reversed, what is it having? Three on this side and null on this side. See, three is address on this side and null on this side. Simply, we do not have to do much here. We, sim we have to swap it. We have to swap these two values, correct? And swapping is quite easy. We just need a third variable. Uh, in this case, a pointer variable. Uh, we just have to have one temporary there and we can swap these two values and that would be it. And we have to do this for each and every node. That means we need to traverse it once from here till the last and at every node we need to do this swapping. Let's see the approach for the same. So as we can see here, we just have to initialize two pointers. First is current uh, to just keep a track of on which node we are actually performing the swapping and then temporary just for you know helping us to swap two pointers. We need to start from the uh, head and then we need to move until. So firstly, we need to just store the currents previous to temp. That means we need to use our temp to store value of currents previous so that it doesn't get lost. Fine. Then we will update the previous with next and we will update the next with the temporary value that we kept here, right? Simple swapping. Then we are updating the current with currents prep. Now, why we are doing that? I hope you remember when what we do in usual linked list operations when we have to move forward. If this is our temporary that we are using for traversal, what, what we usually use to do, we do this, right? Temps, uh, temp equal temps next. This is how we travel. Now, in the case of, uh, let's take this case. So we have three, five, seven as our W linked list. After reversing, it will be seven, five, three. So if I'm here, Correct. In this conditions on fives left, that means on fives uh, previous we have three. Next we have seven. Here on fives previous we have seven, and on fives next we have three. If we see five, then what will be the next node that we need to pick up after we are done swapping the links of five? Seven, right? We need to move in this direction because we need to do the swapping for every node. So just look here. We are here at five. Once swapped. It will be something like this. We need to go to seven. And where is seven here? At fives previous. Thus, what we are doing, we are replacing current with currents previous. All right. So I hope you understand it now. Okay. Once this loop is executed, that means we have traveled uh, the link list. What will happen? Eventually, we need to just update the head because head is still pointing to the first node. We need to update the head with P's prev. That means we have it's actually temps. So we need to update it to temps prev because temp is going to be at the last, right? We cannot keep a track of current here because current is becoming null. Then that is a terminating condition for this loop. We will use the temp. And eventually we will store temps previous to head. Fine. After the uh, updation of head is done, we will simply return it. At this step, we will be returning it. Fine. Let's see the code for the same. Okay. So here is an example code for it. What I have done is I have used, uh, I've just made a helper function here and we actually need to return it. I'll write that later. Okay, so once we have this, what will be done? I'm just calling my helper function with this head. It is receiving head here. I have made two variables. The first one, the pointer variables. Uh, well, actually we are using Python, so we do not name it pointer variable, but you can understand the concept in the similar manner. So we have two variables. First is uh, attached to head. Second, for the time being, this is your temporary, by the way. This is uh, what, what we have to do. We have to store none, just analogous to null initially. After that, while current, unless current is becoming null, we will be doing this. First of all, just three lines of swapping anything, right? And then to move forward. Very clear. Then we need to just update ahead with temps previous because it is going to be the last node, which has now become the head. Fine. And this is a check that I've simply performed so that we are not going to encounter any error. So it will be checking that my temporary and my temporary's previous is actually not null. 
So once it is done, we'll be updating a head and eventually after that, I'll simply return my head from here. It will be returning and this will be coming here as the answer of helper and that will be returned from this function, fine. So I hope the code was pretty simple. If we talk about the complexity, space complexity is O1, that means constant. We are not using any extra space. We are just moving the pointers here and there. And uh, the question actually was demanding in place. So it is here. And then we have time complexity to be ON. Why ON? Because N is the length of our W linked list and we are just traveling the W linked list for one time. Okay, so I hope you've understood the complexity. Let's, uh, let's just test this code against test cases. Okay, so here is same code and I made the changes. I have um, returned my head here and from here. Let's compile it. Okay, so it is giving us the expected output. Let's try to submit that. Okay, so it is passing all the test cases. So I hope you have understood the solution. And if you have, do tell me in the comments and like the video. Thank you.